I often find myself in a situation where I'm not happy with myself. I compare my abilities, achievements, and even my appearance with that of others. And I think that's one reason for my low self-esteem. How do you think I can uh, build up on my self-esteem and get rid of the self-hatred that I have? <laughs> well, this self-esteem, this self-confidence, all these things unfortunately have been sold a lot on the planet. Why do you need esteem? Why do you need esteem? Esteem is because you want to be little one-up on somebody else all the time. Unfortunately, our education systems were made like this right from kindergarten. Who is first, who is second, who is third? You want to be first. So, your sense of happiness is only when everybody is doing worse than you. What kind of life is that? Why… why are we structuring our lives like this, that if everybody is doing badly, I will feel great? I think it's sickness. Hello? You think it's joy or sickness, please tell me. If you, all of you are doing badly, I feel great because I am number one now. No, this should go. From an early age, unfortunately, this is being imposed upon a child's mind that you have to be on top of everybody else. This is like, I want you to just imagine if this happened to other creatures, let's say it happened to the plants and trees and animals. If an ant wants to become like an elephant, that is going to be a terrible ant-elephant, isn't it? Suppose a mango tree wants to become like a coconut tree, it will be a horrible mango tree because with one branch like this, no mangoes will come out of this. A mango tree is like this, a coconut tree is like that. That's how it should be. This has happened because in so many ways, people have put these things into your mind, what is good, what is bad, what is high, what is low, what is up, what is down. Because of this, you have never paid attention to every aspect of life in the sense Maybe humanities people and lawyers and what are you? Yeah. Huh? CA. Oh, the accounting people <laughs> You never paid attention to these things. I spend a lot of time paying attention to all kinds of creatures, ants and grasshoppers and worms and everything. If you observe, let's say an ant or let's pick up something little more than an ant, like a grasshopper, it's easier to see him. If you look at him carefully, whoever created this grasshopper has paid as much attention to your grasshopper as they have paid to this one. Please pay attention and see. When the source of creation has given equal attention to ant and you, who the hell are you to think an ant is a lowly creature and you are some superhuman being? Why are you making this judgment? Creation has not made this judgment. You may think you're superior simply because you're in a blatant manner, you're walking on this planet, but that's not true. The fact of the matter is like this. See, if all the worms on this planet, right now if all of them die, all the worms, in about twelve to eighteen months, all life on this planet will cease, everything, including you and me. Suppose all the insects die today, in something like two and a half to four years' time, all life will cease. But if all the human beings die, the planet will flourish. Yes, we make good manure. If human beings go away, right through this building trees will grow, isn't it? Yes or no? everything will flourish. So, who the hell is telling you that you are the most significant life? This idea that the cosmos is human-centric is a stupid idea. 
In this cosmos, even this solar system is a tiny speck. Tomorrow morning if the entire solar system evaporates, nobody will notice it. That's how small it is. In that tiny speck, planet Earth is a micro speck. In that micro speck, Bengaluru is a super micro speck. In that, you are a very big person with great self-esteem. <laughs> this is… this is not a simple problem. People suffer this for their whole life without handling it. Essentially, it is just this. You have gotten yourself into a place where most human beings are in this place, you get yourself into a place where you cannot handle your own thought process and your emotion, that's all. You meet fifty, sixty-year-old people, they've still not figured how to handle their thought and emotion. These are basic faculties. When the hell are you going to learn how to use your thought and emotion? Suppose you are uh, twenty years of age and you still don't know how to use your fingers, people will say you're handicapped, isn't it? You are whatever age you are and you still don't know how to use your thought and emotion, are you handicapped too? Hello? Are you or are you not? Yes. You are, you're crippling yourself. Why has this happened? It's simply because you have made unna unnatural divisions in the existence, which don't exist anywhere else except in human mind, yes? Nowhere else does it exist except in human mind. 